one person over here. So there are some states that require 14 day quarantines once you enter back into the state. Okay, here we go. Just got off the plane in the United States. I almost can't believe that I'm here. Good morning from Mexico City, Mexico. We're at a random food cart right next to our Airbnb. So for breakfast, we're getting street quesadillas. So we're gonna eat these really quick because we have to pack and we are getting on a flight to go home after six months during the coronavirus lockdown pandemic border closures we haven't been able to get home and now we're finally going we found the opportunity going through mexico so we're going to film the whole thing trying to get home we can't believe that we're actually going home we never knew when this was going to happen because we were in peru for a long time we thought we were going to be stuck there for a year <laughs> seemed like forever but, I'm going home to Minnesota, he's going home to California, and we'll show you the whole thing. So we're just at some street food trucks that are under the bridge here, next to the highway. Now we're gonna get a hugo, or something. Okay, I got a banana and milk and smoothie, or hugo. And I got strawberry and a milk strawberry leche and it was a dollar for totally perfect to go with our tacos mm. so this is a quesadilla in mexico looks a little different than what we're used to but tastes amazing chicken cheese salsa avocado on a corn tortilla all right, we're in our taxi heading to the airport. We're gonna be there in half an hour. Huge shout out to Peter, Kelsey, and Grant. They are providing this flight for us home. They donated their sky miles to us. So sweet. Yeah, so awesome. People know that we knew that it was very expensive for us to get home through repatriation flights, and some people just offered us some miles because they had extra miles, so. Yeah, they were subscribers to the channel from the very beginning, so thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> All right, got my two hats on, because it's the best way to carry them. Just said goodbye to Alex, and we are gonna be at different terminals, but I'm gonna try to find a way to get to the other terminal after I go through security. Maybe we can still hang out a little bit before the flight leaves. But if not, that is goodbye. And for now, we'll see each other in about a month. But it's gonna be weird. We spent literally every day together for six months. Maybe the longest we were apart was like a few hours. So this will be interesting. I'm sure we'll miss each other. Okay, just got through security flawlessly. It was a lot easier than it was getting out of Peru. And now I have to find my gate. This is a huge airport in Mexico City. Okay, unfortunately, Lindsay had to break off into her side of the terminal. Or she went to terminal 2, and I went to terminal 1, even though we're both going to the US. Very strange. So now we're gonna split the screen and do her part and my part and show you guys the difference of our trips home. Rule number one of flights, wear something comfortable. So Peter and Kelsey surprised me with first class seats. I've never flown first class before. One of the perks, I didn't even know what the perks were until I got here and I looked it up. Uh, one of the perks is you get to go in these special lines. They're shorter for security. They're also shorter as well. You get two checked bags and you might get Wi-Fi in the plane. So that would be amazing. We'll see. And as we all know, the seats in first class are a lot more comfortable, more space. So I'm looking forward to it. This will be a treat.
I may not be in Peru anymore, but I'm still rocking the Peruvian mask. It's still my favorite mask. So even when I'm home in the U.S., I'm going to be wearing this and it will remind me of Peru. So I travel a lot, as you probably know, so I am in a lounge right now. So I have credit cards that I got because they are basically travel credit cards. And one of them that I have, they give me lounge access to a lot of lounges around the world. So look at where I am right now. I'm taking full advantage of this. I'm not really hungry, but she offered chilaquiles or omelets. So I just got some chilaquiles because we're leaving Mexico and this is where to do it. <laughs> Lindsay might not be in a similar situation right now. She's probably just waiting at the regular spots because she doesn't have a tr travel credit card. But the people who gave us our flights home, they were nice enough to put Lindsay on first class to get home. Right now I'm gonna get some coffee and chilequiles and maybe some fruit or a salad. And if you want to know about travel credit cards, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos on that on my other channel called Alexander Travel Bum, probably in the next couple months. So if you want to get travel credit cards where you can travel for free, for cheap, get rewards, get lounge access like this, then go to the other channel and wait for those videos. There's some Harry Potter on over here. All the food over here. And all of these lounge. Six. She just brought me my chilaquiles. This is pretty odd when you've been with someone 24 7 for about seven months. Literally 24 7. We weren't without each other for more than an hour ever in the last seven months. So it's pretty weird being here by myself. This is what I used to do. This is what I was doing before I met Lindsay a year ago. Just lounging by myself. Let's see what she's up to. Finally, it's feeling real. We are actually going home to U.S. soil. I think this is the first time that I've actually let myself get excited about it because we knew a lot of things could come up in the process. Maybe flights would get delayed. Who knows what could happen. But now we're finally leaving to the U.S. This is a weird feeling. I miss Peru already. I miss home. So very mixed, conflicting feelings. It'll be good to be home, but a part of me will miss travel and it'll be weird not having Alex around. All right, just waiting to board. I spent the rest of the pesos because we cannot use them in the US. I was too short and a guy jumped in and gave them to me. That was super sweet. Ruffles, queso. Hershey bar and gummy sours. Not healthy, but it's comfort food. It's got the Starbucks and carrot cake from Starbucks. Haven't had Starbucks in like six or seven months. I'm missing Peruvian coffee and the prices. So my snacks aren't that great compared to Alex's lounge experience, but hey, you do what you can with what you got waiting to board. It should be another 20 minutes. Everyone is wearing their masks. Oh, well, here I have my coffee and then the chile cubes. Let's check it out. Ooh. So I got a bistec chilaquiles. Chilaquiles are like chips with meat. This one has onions, sour cream, and a red sauce on there. Airport food doesn't have to be bad. So I figured out I'm taking the tram to Terminal 1 to go see Alex. It might only be for an hour, but I don't have anything else to do, so it's worth it. And we won't be seeing each other for a while. Look at how they have these X's marked. So there's four people in this cabin on this train. are 
are different with COVID. So besides all the extra COVID measures, everything seems to be pretty normal. If it weren't for all the masks and sanitation stations, I would never even know that it's COVID time so right now. So before you go in through security, they make you fill out a questionnaire asking you if you have any COVID symptoms, if you've been exposed to anyone with COVID, and if you have any symptoms such as coughing, high temperatures, sneezing, things like that. Luckily, I haven't had any of those, so I gave them the questionnaire, went through security, and then I think you provide it when you get on your actual flight. Well, that was disappointing. I tried, but the person at the security gate at Terminal 1 would not let me through because I did not show that I had a ticket for any of the airlines that were in that terminal, which I guess makes sense, but everyone else had told me it would be totally fine to go over to Terminal 1 and hang out. So, I'm going back to Terminal 2. So Lindsay tried to get over here and they're not allowing her from the other terminal into this terminal even though we're pretty close. So I was just waiting and waiting on her for half an hour and she just let me know that she can't get here. So I decided I'm gonna drink alone. I was gonna get some mezcal ready for us. Maybe a latte for her because she loves lattes and then some chilequiles I was gonna order for her but I knew that that could happen so I didn't order it yet I just got one for myself so cheers hopefully Lindsay's all right let's go check in on her so there are some states that require 14 day quarantines once you enter back into the state luckily California and Minnesota are not part of those states that require that so we shouldn't have to do any extra stuff, but we'll see when we land. I just got an email from the U.S. Embassy. They continue to provide repatriation flights for people stuck in Peru. And a lot of them are sold out, which is crazy because they are so expensive. So this is why I love lounges, especially for me because I have work to do, I can always edit, I always have work to do. So if you have work that you can do on your computer, lounges are the perfect place. Look at my setup. So I have my computer here, I can work. I have a little table where I have my alcohol. All of this is free. You can get alcohol, meals, snacks, water, coffee. Depending on your lounge, it changes. So I have a grapefruit juice right here. Really good mezcal. Just finished my coffee and my chilaquiles. And I'm all plugged in here. They always have outlets. A bunch of places to sit. And each lounge you go to, it changes wherever you go. So some of them are nicer than others, some of them have more lounging, some of them have better internet. Some have full buffets, and it's always free once you get in, so it's awesome. You can bring two people in, which is why I was hoping that I could bring Lindsay in here, but she can't get through. So that sucks, we'll only use it for me today. But if you want more info about it, just let me know in the comments, and I'll let you know which travel credit cards you can get, what'll help you get airport lounge access for free. And I'll be doing a blog post and other videos, so those will be linked either here or down below. So I just got an email from my flight that says it started boarding a couple minutes ago. So I didn't even have to leave the lounge to, to see that. So now I know that I should probably leave pretty soon. Technology is great, isn't it? All right, I'm gonna go board. It's real, it's really happening. Oh my gosh, I'm getting emotional. This is so surreal. It's gonna feel so good to get home and give my mom a hug, give my brother a hug. I cannot wait. I cannot afford to fly first class normally. But I'm gonna enjoy it while I have it. 
love it. This is by far the longest I've been away from home abroad. We had not ever planned to be away this long and it's gonna feel good to be home. So when you first get on the plane, they give you these Corel hand sanitizing wipes. Throughout the airport, they take your temperature. So they are following all the proper protocols, which is awesome. One of the best parts about first class is you have outlets you can charge your things in. So here they are, right under the armrest. All right, they're saying that the plane is boarded and we're about to depart. Oh, look at this. The plane is pretty much empty. I'd say it's not even half full. I was not expecting that. And I don't think it's half full on purpose. I think it just didn't get booked out. Because on our repatriation flight, that was totally full. And there aren't X's or anything in the seats. So it seems like you can sit wherever. We thank you for flying Delta. We're excited to see the building world. home, creating opportunities. got off the plane in the United States. I almost can't believe that I'm here. It's been so long. We felt like we would be stuck in Peru for a year or more, but we made it happen. Everybody's speaking English. This is crazy. I want to go up and try to speak Spanish to everybody, but nope. Perfect English everywhere. So I just went through security, which took me about three minutes. And that's because I have global entry. Global entry is something that gets you in very fast. You can skip all the lines. So other people from my plane are still waiting back there. Just like I said earlier with the credit card that I have, that's made for travel, you get free global entry. So another amazing thing about it. So I just had a very interesting experience. You know how we went to the Mara salt mines in Peru, where, they, where we got special salt. It's famous salt from Peru. Well, I had these little bags of salt and they stopped me for that. I guess making sure they're not drugs. They had to do some kind of chemical test and make sure it took me about 15 minutes more than I needed to spend there. I showed him the pictures and everything. He was nice about it, but yeah, they had to look for that. So that was pretty funny. One person over here, a couple people walking, that's it. 
finally I am back <sighs> and my friend is picking me up my friend Thomas picking me up because my family they're a little afraid of COVID uh, we have a new baby in the family and my parents have been staying away from people and I've been in Peru and Mexico so they want me to kind of self-quarantine for a little while so it makes sense so my friend's gonna pick me up and bring me home and we'll update you soon it's gonna be a weird greeting with my brother when he picks me up because he told me that I can't hug him he can't hug me I have to wear a mask obviously and he said the windows in the car have to be rolled down so he set his strict boundaries with me so it's gonna be hard not to hug him after six months of not seeing him but gotta keep everyone safe so be an awkward hello I guess <laughs> I guess he's not getting out of the car. Ooh. Hi, Broski. There's Lindsay. You're gonna be on YouTube. You're gonna be on YouTube. Say hi. Is that a good phone? No. Say hi. hi. Say hi, Lindsay Travel Bum. Hi, Lindsay Travel Bum. I'd love to help you, but uh, I don't want to die, so. <laughs> okay, pop the trunk. Oh, wait. <laughs> 